I think to ensure we uh, stay on time, I'm going to get started. So hello and welcome everybody to this educational webinar to support healthcare professionals to get the most out of glucocontrol.online, a web-based application to help you with your patients' consultations and the management around their blood glucose readings. This is the first in a series of webinars covering different elements of the application to help in supporting you, the HCP, to get the most out of it. We understand your time is valuable. Therefore, to ensure we cover everything today in this set time, we have pre-recorded the content to make sure we keep on track, allowing for questions at the end so that we finish on time. First, let me introduce ourselves. My name is Richard Wright from Essentia Diabetes Care, and I'm the UK and Ireland Marketing Manager. Also on the call today is Matt Hayden, the Southwest Business Development Manager in the, in the UK, and also the Sales Team Marketing Lead. Matt will be taking you through today's masterclass before we cover the questions at the end. By the end of the webinar, we will look to cover these three learning objectives. Firstly, you will have a greater knowledge about what Glucocontrol Control Online is. Secondly, to understand what you need to get up and running and to see how quick and simple this process is. And lastly, understanding the different options available to connect with your patients so that they can easily share their blood glucose readings. We do have a quick reference guide available, both in hard copy and digitally, that covers the topics we will go through today. So don't feel you have to try and write everything down. After the webinar, if you have given consent for Ascensi to contact you, we will email your digital version of this quick reference guide. Now, let me hand over to Matt. Uh, we will give you an overview of the software, cover off data security, and how Glucocontra Online works. We will demonstrate how to get yourself up and running, and then how your patients can seamlessly share their readings with you. At the end of the session today, we will outline the support we have available, and then there will be time for Q&A. So please enter any questions you have during the session into the chat, and we will cover them off at the end. The focus of the webinar today is for the UK and Ireland markets, although it is open to any healthcare professional. However, if you're not based in the UK or Ireland and have a country specific question, we may have to follow up with you separately afterwards. So for anybody who has not seen or heard of Glucocontro Online, Glucocontro Online is a web browser based application that allows people with diabetes to seamlessly share their blood glucose readings with their healthcare professional teams in a safe and secure manner. The web address is the same as the name, glucocontro.online. Therefore, anywhere where you could access the internet, you'll be able to access Glucocontro online. We do recommend, however, that you use one of the supported browsers, for example, Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, or Firefox. The old Internet Explorer is not supported for Glucocontro online, as Microsoft Edge supported this browser earlier this year, and this is now outdated. Glucocontro as a platform is free of charge for both healthcare professionals and for people with diabetes. There are no add-on costs and you will get full functionality of Glucocontro online. So you can be confident to use the platform and recommend it to your patients. Glucocontro online is being continuously developed to improve the functionality and the user experience. Therefore, the screens and examples shown today are representative of the platform as it is today, 12th of October, 2022. Through a single platform, people with diabetes can access their blood glucose data online and share it with their healthcare professionals, helping facilitate remote consultations and supporting better diabetes management. In this webinar, all the examples and information is using a demonstrative clinic and fictitious people. The data is for illustrative purposes only. So, how does Glucocontro online work? Glucocontro Online works using a secure cloud solution, which you access after you've created an account and created or joined a clinic. You can then connect with your patients and after they approve to share their data with the clinic, you can access their blood glucose reading straight away. To make this as simple as possible for the person with diabetes, we would recommend they use a connected console meter and the console diabetes app. That way, when they do a blood glucose reading, the value automatically gets transferred across to the console diabetes app, which then automatically syncs with Glucocontro online via the cloud. This means 
for your patients, there are no additional steps in addition to them performing a blood glucose reading as they would normally. So this is a quick and simple way for your patients to capture and share their blood glucose readings. However, although adoption of smartphones, particularly in those over the age of 60, has increased dramatically in the last two to three years, we do understand that you may have some patients who don't have a smartphone or don't want to use a smartphone and an app. Therefore, for these patients, you can still capture their blood glucose readings from the meter when they come to your clinic by connecting their meter directly with a USB cable and then downloading their blood glucose data there in seconds. By having both of these options available, it allows you to benefit from using Glucocontro with a large majority of your patients. Data protection and security is of the utmost importance to us at Ascensia. Glucocontro Online is designed using a highly secure protocols and all the data is encrypted using industry recognized standards. For those of you joining us from Ireland today, we have been working with the HSC to complete all of their documentation around data protection. We have now been added to the list of suppliers who has completed this. If anyone requires any of our certifications around data security or has any questions, then please contact us via email and we will be more than happy to provide this for you. The email contact will be shown at the end of the presentation today. So in terms of setting up an account on Glucocontra Online, Glucocontra Online, as mentioned, is accessed by the web address glucocontra.online. As you can see here, there is a Padlock security logo shown in the top left of your screen by the web address. Very much like using internet banking or making a secure purchase online. The screen shown here is a login page and where you would sign up once you have a Glucocontro account. To create an account, you just have to click on the sign up button shown here. There are four types of accounts available. Currently, the staff account is under development, but your patients would choose the personal account and there is also the option of a caregiver account. For yourselves, you would select professional for your account creation as a healthcare professional and then you would click on continue as shown here. You then complete the details outlined and check the box at the bottom to agree to the terms of service and then click on sign up. To confirm your identity, you will then get an email to verify your email details. This is done by clicking the link in the email as shown here. You will then get asked to complete some additional details and your marketing consent preferences. Once this is done, your account is now set up and complete. How to set up a Glucocontro online clinic. Now that you are set up with Gluco Glucocontro online, you will need to either join an existing clinic if a fellow healthcare professional has already done this or create a new clinic if you are the first person. Either way, this is really quick and simple. If a colleague has already created a clinic, all you have to do is find a clinic from the list of clinics shown and click request to join. There is also a search bar facility as shown here if you can't find the clinic you wish to join. For the example shown on your screen now, we have hidden the details of these clinics, but you would normally be able to see these. Once you have found the clinic via clicking join or via the search bar, you then just confirm the email address you are using and the administrator of that clinic will get a notification to inform them that you wish to join the clinic. They would then have to approve your request. Once done, you are now part of the clinic and can access all the people with diabetes linked to that clinic. If you were the first healthcare professional from your organization to create a clinic, you will need to create the clinic by clicking the button shown here. This then takes you to a page to create a new organization for your clinic. As shown on screen, you would fill in the details, for example, the organization name or the name of your clinic, the country, the language, and the address. Once done, click on submit at the bottom of the page. And once again, you have to confirm your email address. Again, by pressing submit, Next, you will select the storage location for the cloud. Central storage is the free cloud storage that is provided with Glucocontra Online using the secure Microsoft Azure platform. However, there is also the option for both yourself and the person with diabetes to store the data in a Google Drive location if you have one. Once you set the storage type, the clinic is created and you will get a message as shown on screen to inform you that your clinic is waiting to be approved. This approval to create the clinic is completed by Ascensia and will be done within 24 hours. However, 
the majority of clinics created to date have been approved within just one hour. Once your clinic's been approved, you are all set up with your clinic and ready to start connecting with your patients and their data. So now that your Glucocontra online clinic is set up, how do you easily connect with your patients? Glucocontra online is extremely flexible to accommodate different people's needs and preferences. As we are aware that some people are more comfortable with technology and some not so comfortable. Therefore, we will now show you the multiple ways you can seamlessly connect with your patients and their data. The people which we will use in this section are for illustrative purposes only, as is any information or data that you will see. For this first option, let's use the example of somebody called Bill Higgins. Bill does not have a smartphone and just brings his logbook and his blood glucose meter to clinic. For Bill, when he next comes into your clinic with his meter, you will just need to add him to your Glucocontro online clinic. This is done very simply by clicking the add new patient button, which as shown can be found on the left side menu. Once you've clicked on add new patient, it brings up this box. All you have to do is add in Bill's first name and last name as shown, Bill Higgins, and then click on the blue button, add new patient. It is that quick and simple. Bill Higgins is now part of your Glucocontro online clinic. As you can see here, it displays Bill Higgins patient profile. Now, as we've only just added Bill and he is new, a new patient within this clinic, there is currently no blood glucose data. You would then click on the download data button shown here at the top of the screen, which then brings up this box. Now for Bill, who has a console plus blue meter, as shown, you would use a black USB cable as shown in the second box here. You would then be prompted to connect your meter to the computer via the USB cable as shown here with the blue console plus blue meter. The download data from the meter box is then displayed on the screen and you would click on the next button. Because you're in the patient's profile, Bill Higgins, it prompts you to register this meter to that patient. You can then click on import results. As shown, Bill's blood glucose readings are now imported into the system for you to view in your clinic. So that was manual adding patients as demonstrated with Bill. So for this next option, we're going to look at how to connect with your patients via an email invitation. For this method, we will use another example patient, this time Joanne Smith. Joanne has been testing her blood glucose and she has been bringing her meter to her clinic where you downloaded her readings as you did with Bill. However, Joanne is now interested in using Glucocontro herself. Say in the future, Joanne decides she wants to use Glucocontro herself. All you would need to do is click on the invite to share data button shown here. Once you've clicked on that, it brings up a box for you to input the patient's email address, in this case, Joanne Smith. Once you put the email address in, click on the invite patient button. The patient will then receive an email asking them to create an account and agree to share their data with their healthcare professional. In this third option for connecting with your patients and their data, we'll look at the QR code. Let's use the example of Ahmed. Ahmed has a smartphone and is keen to also use Glucocontra online and to join your clinic. There is the option for Ahmed to scan a unique QR code, which is specific to your clinic. Again, this QR code can be found by clicking adding new patient from the left side menu and then selecting the QR code option as shown here. As mentioned, this QR code is unique to your clinic. So Ahmed would have to scan this on his smartphone and it would then prompt him to open the link on his phone and to join your clinic. Ahmed would then be automatically connected to your clinic and you could view his blood glucose data. And now we have a short video to demonstrate how the QR code method would work for your patient. In this fourth and final option, we're going to look at the clinic code. Let's take the example of Fiona. Fiona would like to use Glucocontra online, but prefers to do it later. In this scenario, you would use a unique four digit clinic code, which can be found at the top of the menu bar, as shown here. You, as a healthcare professional, would give this unique clinic code to Fiona, who, once she created a Glucocontra account, can request to join your clinic by using this unique four digit code. So Fiona, as shown on the right hand side of the screen here, would log in as a patient in the left hand menu bar 
Fiona would click enroll in clinic. And Fiona is then prompted to input the unique four digit code, which as you can see here, matches a unique four digit code for your clinic specifically. Once Fiona has done that, you as a healthcare professional will receive a notification letting you know that Fiona has asked to join your clinic and to share her blood glucose data with you. You can then either approve or reject Fiona's request to join your clinic. So to summarize, as you've seen, there are a number of different ways to connect with your patients and their blood glucose data to allow both you and your patients to be flexible to how you wish to work together. Let's summarize the different options for you. The first option, we use the example of Bill, who brought his meter to clinic and you downloaded the readings from his meter whilst in the clinic. And we use the example of a console plus blue meter via a USB cable. The second option was Joanne, who you connected with by an email invitation, which was sent from within Glucoconcho Online. Ahmed connected via the QR code, which was option three. This was shown to him during his clinic visit and he scanned it on his smartphone, which took him straight to the page to join your clinic specifically to share his data with you. In the last example, we looked at Fiona, who took your four digit unique clinic code and requested to join your clinic at a later date. Once approved by yourself as a clinic administrator, Fiona was able to share her blood glucose readings and other data with you. On the screen here, we've got a material that we provide to healthcare professionals who are using Glucoconcho online that they can give to their patients. Uh, as mentioned, there are four options to, for your patients to connect with your clinic on Glucoconcho online. Um, the first one, as demonstrated with Bill Higgins, was by plugging the meter in every time the patient comes into clinic. So in that scenario, you would not need to give instructions for the patient. However, for the other three options we have available, so the email invitation, the QR code invitation, or the unique four-digit four clinic code, we've got patient-friendly step-by-step -step instructions that you, as a healthcare professional, can tick the method you wish to use and give this to your patient so they are clear on how to join your clinic. Ascensia has a number of comprehensive tools to support both healthcare professionals and patients using Glucoconcho online. For healthcare professionals, we have a complete guide to creating your clinic with simple and visual step-by-step -step instructions. We are also able to provide a full user guide which details how to do everything within the Glucoconcho online system. There is also an interactive help section within Glucoconcho online, which is a question mark logo located bottom left of your dashboard. We also have the Ascensia Diabetes Care Helpline who are accessible at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Friday. Their contact details are shown here for both the UK and Ireland respectively, and their email address as well. You also have the dedicated support of your local Ascensia business manager, including a demonstration of the Glucoconcho online program and support with setting up your clinic. In terms of support we have available for patients, we have simplified instructions for how to connect and share your data with the healthcare professional. Patients also have ac access to the Ascensia Diabetes Care Helpline. They also have access to the interactive help section within Glucoconcho online. And on our UK website, which is diabetes.ascensia.co.uk, we have a series of instructional videos for all of our meters within the Contour portfolio and for the Contour Diabetes app. Thank you very much, uh, Matt. I hope uh, everybody found that uh, beneficial today. Second in the series, these webinars will run next month and we'll look to cover how to customize clinic settings and inviting colleagues to join clinics, how to easily search and, and sort patients, and then give an overview of the dashboard and how to view the data in a way that uh, you would like to see their readings. We also hope to hear from a healthcare professional going through some case studies with examples of how to view the data and how it can help in consultation. So now